Hi everyone, it's Kelly here from Spiritual Awakening Signs and today we are delving into a topic why your current spiritual awakening approach isn't working. We're going to really dig into that and I'm going to share the, the common problems that tend to come up and what you can do to fix it. Now if you don't know me, I'm Kelly Ashley from Spiritual Awakening Signs and I help people like you who are going through awakening to reduce the really challenging signs and symptoms that come up during spiritual awakening and make the whole process much easier and that's part of what we're doing today so let's dive right in. Now most people who are going through the spiritual awakening process they tend to use more spiritual practices, more spiritual items, more uh, things to raise their vibration and ease the awakening process because that's what we've all been taught. That's you think you start going through awakening you want to use incense, you want to use crystals, you want to use essential oils and all these different processes and, and items right the problem is when we start using all those different things it causes what i like to call the spiritual java effect and i'm going to explain exactly what that is in just a little minute because it's going to blow your spiritual awakening wide open it's really going to help you to understand why we get the symptoms that we do in awakening and what you can do to stop it okay but if you've been trying those types of approaches, and by that I mean, you know, incense, essential oils, crystals, yoga, meditation, maybe lots of different energy healing, maybe you're getting readings, there's lots of different things that you could do in your awakening to raise your vibration. And as I say, it's because that's what we've been taught. But if you've been trying those different sorts of approaches, you've probably noticed, if you really think about it, that they either don't work, they don't last, or they make your symptoms worse they make the intensity of your awakening worse and as we move through this video i'm hoping that you'll kind of reflect on times where this has happened before and you'll start to put that link together okay so what you tend to find is that it starts to intensify some of the symptoms that you're having whether it's intense emotions or your empathy is too strong or you're feeling really introverted or life is falling apart everything's getting really really intense or there's tons of anxiety whatever the symptom is or the symptoms that you're experiencing in your awakening experience that you don't want to have, these sorts of approaches that we've all been taught to do to raise a vibration actively make it worse. Okay, they either don't work, don't last, or they make it worse. And start thinking back to that and seeing if there's a link for you, because I guarantee there will be. This is something I've seen time and time again. So, like I said before, it causes what we call the spiritual Java effect. Now, this is a way for me to explain this to you that should be really easy to, to grasp because people think all the energy stuff is really complicated and it can be but with this it's actually really simple so <clears throat> what you need to know when you're going through spiritual awakening is that the use of any energy affecting item or practice will only charge your energies even further when you go through spiritual awakening you're vibration gets raised to incredibly high levels okay it creates a seriously high frequency in your energy that your system has never experienced before and that's all part of the awakening process that helps you to connect it helps you to heighten your psychic senses it helps you to see the blocks the emotional issues the things that are in the way stopping you from getting even further okay but the problem with that is when you start to use spiritual items spiritual practices when you do things that affect your energies, all you are doing is stimulating those volatile energies even further and that's going to intensify your symptoms and it's going to make it feel way more overwhelming, much more intense because your body's going to struggle to um, cope with those even higher frequency energies. So it's already at its peak because of the awakening process and we're taking it into the stratosphere, we're taking it that one step further. So the spiritual java effect is a good way of explaining this it's like giving someone who's already totally hopped up on coffee an espresso and then telling them to calm down okay it's not going to happen it's it's the same with the energies it's like you've drank the coffee and your system's starting to move a bit faster and you're speaking more quickly and your mind is racing maybe you're feeling anxious you know you're not you're not really feeling too good but you're not quite sure what's going on and then you have an espresso and the next thing you know you are totally anxious and you you're speaking a million miles a minute and everything's moving really fast and it's uncomfortable it causes a lot of anxiety and you really ultimately have to wait until the caffeine's out of your system and then you start to feel better it's the same with energy and it's the same with spiritual awakening 
every time you use a spiritual item, it's like having another coffee. Every time you raise your vibration even further, you're adding an espresso and you're just making it to the point where your system can't cope with the intensity of what's going on. Okay. So there are things that you should be doing instead. And it is counterintuitive to what you know and what we've all been taught. This took me years to work out in my own awakening. I went through a lot of pitfalls and this is why I want to share this information because I don't want you to go through the same thing. It's not necessary for you to struggle through your spiritual awakening and to really go through the most painful aspects of it, dealing with all the difficult symptoms and just, I remember what it was like when you feel like you're treading water and you're gasping for breath and you just, it's like there's always something else. But there is something that you can do, okay? And I also just want to bring in a little point. If that's what's been happening to, to you, it's not you that's in the wrong. It's not your energies. It's not anything to do with that. It's just the approach that you're currently using, okay? And it can be changed, okay? So here's what you should be doing instead. We've got two steps. Step one, you need to stop charging your energies. That's the most important thing to begin with. You have to stop charging your energies any further. Stop drinking the spiritual caffeine. Stop putting more in there that's gonna keep amping up your symptoms. It's that spiritual java effect. You need to stop drinking the caffeine. You need to cut out all energetic stimulants, right? Your energies won't settle and they won't ground if they are constantly bombarded by more energetic stimulants. So that would be spiritual items, like I said earlier, things that we all love, things that I love. You just have to take a temporary break from things like crystals, essential oils, incense, uh, energy practices like yoga, meditation, energy healing. It's the opposite of what we've been taught. And for the average person, it's fine. But when you're going through spiritual awakening, your energies are so sensitive and so volatile that they will become overcharged like that. Even if it says grounding on the label, and I'm going to get into that in another video because that's another really key point that's very important for keeping spiritually awakened people balanced and, and safe and stable in their energies, okay? So step one is you need to stop charging your energies. You need to take a temporary break from all the things that are really activating your energies all the time because it just can't handle it. It needs time to settle down. Just like if you drink too much caffeine, you need time for it to leave your system and then you start to regulate and you're like, yeah, I'm okay now, it's, everything's calmed down, but it needs that little bit of time, okay? Step two, you need to teach your energies how to process those high frequency spiritual awakening energies because it doesn't know how, okay? If your energies knew how, it would take in this high frequency, it would process it all, you would be aware of it, but it wouldn't be throwing your life off balance. It wouldn't be throwing your emotions out of place. It wouldn't be tipping your energies out of whack all the time. Those things wouldn't happen. It's because your energies simply don't know how to process it. And you need to remember, this is like a shock to the soul when spiritual awakening happens. Quite often our energies are like, what is this? I don't know how to cope with this. It's higher frequency than I've ever worked with before. The body and the rest of the system is still very dense energetically, and that takes a lot of clearing. It requires huge amounts of work to get your system really back in alignment unless you do it with the sort of shortcut which I'm going to talk about in one of the other videos but we'll talk a little bit about it here. So the second step is you've got you've got to teach your energies how to process that. They need to know how to process the spiritual awakening energies. You need to teach them how to stay grounded while still awakening because it is possible. It absolutely is possible. Okay. Um, it's like training your energies. It's showing them, here's the way to handle this new thing. Here's the way to process these high frequency energies, even when they get higher. Because when you have a new moon, a full moon, some sort of astrological or astronomical shift, you're going to feel that again. It's going to overwhelm and stimulate your energies. It's going to happen all over again. So you need to teach your energies how to do it. And that means that you've put something in place that's going to protect you and your energies from becoming out of alignment going forward it's going to reduce the symptoms and make sure they stay reduced they might even reduce even further over time okay and we do that with energy downloads and I'm going to talk about that in one of the other videos because it's quite a quite a big topic but that's definitely the way to do it is with energy downloads uh put a pause on that one we'll come back to it okay so now what I've got is I want to talk about three questions for you to ask yourself to avoid making your difficult awakening even worse okay so what I mean by this is to avoid intensifying the symptoms, 
And the symptoms would be the things that make your awakening difficult. So things like intense emotions or depression or anxiety or, uh, you know, really intense empathy or your psychic senses are out of control or your psychic senses are completely blocked. You know, um, you might have a whole host of different uh, signs and symptoms as part of the awakening process and everybody's a little bit different so it doesn't really matter what the symptoms are you know within yourself if you suspect or know that you're going through awakening but these three questions are going to help you to identify uh, before you use any spiritual practice any item any approach you're going to use this to identify you know if it's making your awakening worse if it could make your awakening worse so you can protect yourself okay so the three questions are as follows. Number one, does it affect my energies? Does it affect my energy? So you're going to look at something. So for example, if you say, you know, I'm going to wear a crystal bracelet today, which is one of my favourite things. And I love to do it all the time. I had to take a break just like you. I'm, I want to wear a crystal bracelet. You pick up a crystal bracelet and you think to yourself, does that affect my energies? Well, I know crystals affect energies. So that's going to stimulate my energy. So that's a no. Okay, for now temporarily you're going to look at spiritual items and you're going to say is it designed to affect my energies okay second question does it read my energies is it an intuitive reading of some sort is it a card reading is it some sort of uh, astrology reading is it something where someone is ultimately going to be tuning into my frequency or the energies in some way sometimes this can even happen when people go for certain types of spiritual um uh, healing or practices or different healing approaches there's tons of different things but if it involves someone picking up on your energies that's going to stimulate your energies too okay and the third question does it affect the energy of my environment so by that you might be looking at okay Himalayan rock salt lamp I love them I absolutely love them but the effect the energy of your environment even if it's meant to be positive your energies are too volatile for it right now okay Crystals, large big crystals or kind of ornamental crystals that you might have in your home will affect the environment. They'll clear the energetic space. That's going to affect your energy. OK, so I know it's tough. I know it's really tough because we love these things and I love them, too. But you just need a short break from them. When your energies reground, you can start to slowly add these things back in and your energies should be a bit calmer. But you need those energy downloads in place to make sure it doesn't happen again. OK, so going over those questions again. Does it affect my energies? Any item, any practice, any sort of spiritual thing, does it affect my energies? Does it read my energies? Any sort of reading or um, some, you know, some sort of mediumship, anything that reads your energies, card readings, does it affect the energy of my environment? Anything that clears the space that you're in energetically? Uh, even sometimes listening to certain frequencies or binaural beats, anything like that will affect the energy of your space. So if it does, if any of those things affect or say yes to your energies, they are stimulating your energies and it will make your symptoms and the intensity of your spiritual awakening much worse. Hello to everyone watching right now. Thanks for joining us. It will definitely make your symptoms much, much worse. OK, now we teach all of this and much more in our signature course, the Grounded Awakening System. Um, it's a course of energy healing downloads to reduce your spiritual awakening symptoms and ground and stabilize your energies for good <laughs> for good and it does it in just seven days no matter how bad it's been no matter how long you've had it and what's more there's a vip uh coaching community in that where you get direct access to me and you can ask me your most difficult and most confusing awakening questions and i'll be right there with the expert guidance to give you the help um, the doors open in about 11 days time, but you can go on the wait list to be notified when we launch. And I really hope to be supporting you in your spiritual awakening very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.